the reason that we are created in this uh, land is to meet each other anyway you can be far or closer <laughs> I mean, I mean, everybody always asks about that, that. How can we make it work? And what is our relationship with Noel or Menard? Or how is the collaboration going between Finland and Africa? But I think that the more challenging collaboration happens between the Finnish people. <laughs> because, because the collaboration with Noel is very solid, you know. We are good friends and we know each other musically very well. And uh, we are very much on the same page about how we want to develop the group and what how we want to de develop the process of writing new music and uh, that's at least how I feel about it. I mean, if you ask Noel, he might answer you something completely different. Of course, uh, you know, uh, we come from two different uh, backgrounds. And uh, for me, since I know that music is a universal uh, language, Music don't have, uh, how to say, racism, racism. Music is uh, everywhere you go, you play music, some people will, will be happy. It's to it's the united weapon. So when you are a musician and you meet another musician, of course you want to find uh, the exchange way to bring uh, people to understand that point of the meaning of music, that music is a universal. So there were obviously two kinds of songs that came from there were Noah's songs and my songs and then we kind of finalized all the arrangements together and uh, then we rehearsed first as a quartet with Juhan Sampo Noel and myself you know where we kind of put the songs to their final forms that was the first album the second album we started getting into the room with Noel and working from the scratch you know like let's let's do this kind of song I have this rhythm and I have this uh, this couple of chords you know what do you think? <laughs> and, uh, then, then we start bouncing and uh, building demos or recording recording ideas, you know. I mean, obviously with Noel, it's it's very oral, the working process when you work, work in the same room. And I think in this kind of music, it should be like that with everybody. Me, the way I feel music is the way I sing, you know.
you really really need to have a good chemistry with whoever you're working with. I mean, I, I think that the core of the group that it was built around in the in the first place, myself, Sampo, Juha and Noel, we, we are very good friends, all of us, and we have a lot of trust towards each other. I think that's really important that there's this some kind of a core group. If, if you want to run something logistically and financially as challenging as this, you cannot do it alone. I mean, I, I think that it's important that there is some kind of a team there. And then whoever you need around that with musicians, uh, th those need to be in the, at least mentally, in the same page as well. I think, uh, of course, when Yane came, uh, we start to, to collaborate together. I already smell what kind of song should I bring to the band, you know, to to make the spices, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> of course, because when you want to uh, do something uh, be front of audience, you need to feel first, okay? Uh, because it's not for you. You 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 will perform. You are not you are not going to perform for you. You are going to perform for the audience. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I don't like when many people are in the same room, you know, like making the same with the same idea, uh, sounding like the same thing, thing, thing all the time. So usually when I want to compose, I want to search for something which should be different. When we go to the stage, let's say we attend a group, when I will come to play, I want people to get to know that what I have played or what uh, in my repertoire is different than what other has present. I don't want to be uh, see or appreciate like same, 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 like this, like this. No, no, no. <laughs> you cannot just take anyone aboard. Like for example, I mean, the, the situation in the beginning was pretty much that uh, I, I had worked with everybody in the band but they didn't know each other. So it took a while for people to get to know each other. But And almost all, everybody in the band who came, who joined besides the core four, they all had their own bands as well. And everybody has a little bit of a producer, composer mind. So they are not just musicians who come to a gig. They, they actually have a little bit of knowledge about what it is to lead a band and what it is to write music and arrange it for a bunch of people and what it is to actually manage the band also. So, to my experience, I think they respect that also. That they know that in order for there to be a gig, especially abroad, 
it it doesn't come for free you know there's a lot of hustling that takes you to the place where you actually meet at the airport and leave so to me that's really important that you have people who are who understand all these realities and uh, who could could potentially take my place and uh, and uh, still they choose to be on board I don't know if I answered your question yeah, that's really important. Mm. Good. Yeah. you did Thank you.